course it's raining. So if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you've seen me on previous expeditions with Jason for the past few years, uh, starting from Bend, working our way down to the Elver Desert, and then up along the Owyhee Canyon. Um, we've looked at a few different routing options there. This year we are continuing to work our way around the state with a continuation of that route. So this is purely a sort of scouting expedition. We have some ideas in mind of how we might get there, possibly this way, possibly that way. We're just gonna see what we find. There are some areas in southeastern Oregon, southwestern Idaho, where the dirt, when it becomes wet, turns into this slick, greasy mud that is like driving on ice. And I've had a few run-ins with this stuff and it is not fun to drive in. So listening to the rain last night, uh, all I could think about is, I don't know what these roads are gonna be. It looks like a lot of dirt roads. I don't know how wet they're gonna be and how slippery it's gonna be. So we camped here last night, kind of right at the start of the route that we want to start uh, experimenting with today. A little campsite, not super far off the highway. So we were sitting in Jason's van talking last night. Um, we heard a vehicle not just rolling by on the dirt road, but actually rolling into our campsite and basically set up camp just just like 50 yards from where we were. So that was a little unusual. It was fine. They were quiet and um, it's sort of a wide area, wide open area. And I know some people are apparently accustomed to camping close to other people. Plenty of other spots on this road to camp, but Oh well. <laughs> Personally, when I'm out dispersed camping, um, if I roll up onto a campsite where there's people camped, I usually don't want to be anywhere near where they are. I look for some place further away or really, I usually just go and find a different road to drive up. So just up behind Jason's van there, you can see the road that we're gonna take up into the hills. I think we're ready to hit the road. So ultimately, even though it kind of rained on and off all night, the road doesn't seem really like slick or muddy. There's a lot of rock, at least in this initial stretch of the road, and it looks like it was graded fairly recently. It's always hard to tell uh, when you're scouting this stuff on satellite imagery, how flat or hilly it's gonna be. And I'm always surprised. It always looks so flat, even when I can tell there's a little bit of hills. I'm always surprised by the depth of the hills when I actually get out here and, and start driving it. It's always a pleasant surprise.
We've stumbled across an unexpected little oasis out here. Might be some good potential for viewing wildlife, but it's definitely too early to make camp. And anyway, we've got other fish to fry today. With so much moisture both in the air and saturated into the ground, this normally arid area has taken on a moody Western Oregon vibe. This road isn't particularly gnarly, but because it's been raining on and off for the past 12 hours, and it's this Eastern Oregon mud that just is slippery like ice when it gets wet. And there's a few off-camber sections, and I've had bad experiences with this kind of mud on off-camber trails, and Jason's had experiences with this kind of mud, bad experiences, I mean, and so, um, we're trying to figure out what to do. We're hiking up the trail a ways here and see if we can get a sense for what it might become. We've gained a healthy respect for this mud and I think anybody else who has dealt with it would also have a healthy respect for this mud. And tomorrow we're supposed to have some decently better weather so it might be in our um, best decision to just park tonight. Yeah, I mean, it may not be worth taking any chances. All, you know, once you start sliding in this stuff sideways, and then you've got some like momentum, you're sliding sideways, there's just nothing you can do. We've both been slipping sideways so much over the past hour that the slightest off camber slope triggers trepidation for both of us. We've each slid off trails like this in the past, and neither of us wants to go over that drop off. We considered backtracking a bit to a campsite we passed earlier in order to wait for drier conditions tomorrow, but with no room to turn around and the muddy trail feeling too treacherous to reverse down a significant distance, we're going to creep past this narrow off-camber stretch and put down traction boards in the most troubling spots. I know this doesn't look like much on video, and as it happens, the dirt is a little grippier right here. No problem.
definitely going um, a little smoother, sort of on the top of the ridge. Um, it wasn't smooth, it was rocky, it was very bumpy, but uh, it wasn't muddy. And now as we're coming back down this other side, um, it's muddy and we're sliding all over the place here. But I think we're gonna just try and find a spot to camp soon, even though it's maybe 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's supposed to be uh, more dry tomorrow. When the rain stops even just a little bit, the roads get much, much better. So uh, if we can just ride out a little bit of the wet stuff and pick it back up tomorrow, um, I think that's what we're thinking at this point. Checking satellite imagery as we go, Jason has spotted what appears to be a campsite down this side road. We're gonna hunker down here and hope the forecast for less rain tomorrow is correct. arrived with a cheery sunrise promising better conditions and we waste no time getting back on the trail. The weather may turn on us again, but for now, let's see how far we can get. There's more to come in this adventure. Subscribe now so you don't miss an episode, and thank you for watching.